First, we have image completion, also known as image inpainting or content-aware fill. Image completion allows us to fill in the missing areas of an image with a best guess as to the missing content. Essentially, it answers the question, what should go in this missing part of the image? For example, we can use image completion to digitally remove unwanted objects from our images. We provide the model with an image and a mask containing the content to be removed as input. Then the model produces a new image with the missing area filled in as output. Image completion is useful anytime you need to replace part of an image with a synthetic alternative. For example, digitally removing objects from images, filling in the missing areas outside of a photo's borders, and restoring image quality to old or damaged photos. Next, we have image generation. Image generation allows us to create an artificial image given a short text description. Essentially, it answers the question, what would this thing look like? For example, we can create visual content by simply describing the object we want to see. We provide the model with a text description as input, then the model produces a synthetic image matching that description as output. Image synthesis is useful anytime you need to create new images from scratch. For example, creating content for presentation slides, rapidly iterating on new product designs, and creating entirely new and unique works of art. Third, we have image style transfer, also known as neural style transfer. Image style transfer allows us to apply the stylistic characteristics of one image to another image. Essentially, it allows us to restyle an image in a completely different visual style. For example, we can make our photos look like a painting from a famous artist. We provide the model with a source image and a second image containing a target visual style as input. Then the model produces a third image containing the source content but in the new visual style as output. Image style transfer is useful anytime you need to restylize an image. For example, applying artistic filters to your digital photos, rebranding images with your company's visual style, and creating new virtual reality and gaming experiences. To learn more, please click the link in the description. For more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.